Male circumcision. Research in Kenya, South Africa and Uganda proves it reduces HIV infection in men but doesn't eliminate the risk. It has been done for religious, cultural or medical reasons. However, for cultural reasons, it is a touchy subject. What is the point we are here? That you behave recklessly as long as you are circumcised. We have got tribes in Uganda who traditionally circumcise, but there are very high incidences of AIDS in these tribes. President Yoweri Museveni said this at an HIV implementers conference in Kampala. Across the lake, Kisumu City. Asisi wajaluo, mila yetu sisi kwa sasa tuko na tairi. Na kwa kuwa pia mwachambila, pia ni mtumwa, hatutaki kuwa watumwa vile vile. Sasa hapo, ninguwa sihi, muja tena na mtueleze, ambapo pia tusiwa watumwa, na pia, Ah, my husband is happy about the male circumcision because of the diseases the, the boys are getting now. Even himself, he told me that if he is young and he can be attacked with anything like that, he can wish to be circumcised. Na wajalu wa pendangi kutahiriwa kulengana na kimilaza, uwango wanatoa meno. Hawaza tujui kama watahilewa kulengana na hiu gojo ya okimi watahirishu ya mana mnagani. Kama ni vizuri na fawa watu wajitairisho tu. Naon. Wajimi na mimi na muislamu nimeshe tairisho tayari. Naon. A majority of persons here are from the Luo community. Traditionally, they don't circumcise. This new revelation brings with it a dilemma. Are they willing to ignore tradition to reduce HIV infection? Next week, we find out. Katina Chenga for Channel One Beyond the Epidemic.